So hello and welcome to all of you who picked flower number three. So what's interesting about this, you guys, for group number three, I always get like some mystical vibes going on with you guys because I literally was shuffling the cards and I could hear the wind outside moving so much. And I'm like, I'm just getting all kinds of intuitive spiritual vibes from group number three. So if you guys did choose this third flower for the month of April and springtime, there's definitely a lot of spiritual energy probably surrounding you guys in some type of way from what I was sensing. So what we're going to do in this reading is we are actually going to be using the angel oracle cards, a lot of angel stuff. I was getting a lot of visions of that this past week, you guys, and I'm like, I really, really just kind of wanted to use this for the spring April pick a card readings. The other thing is, is that because the spring equinox is so early this year a little bit, um, that I kind of wanted to get this in so that you can have a uh, outlook for April and kind of see what's going on, what are the main messages here, um, and things like that. So we're going to just get started, group number three, and kind of see what's going on here. Oh, the ocean. Well, don't wonder about the wind or whatever, but the ocean, this is interesting. So the deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. You guys, that's like a beautiful card there because the ocean is just so cleansing and spiritual and things like see I don't know if this group is very spiritual or what but um the ocean's very cleansing so if you guys are cancers Pisces Scorpio if you have that somewhere in your chart sun moon or rising that could also be an indication that you guys need to get out near that ocean get out near um I know that travel restrictions might be possible for some of you guys but the whole point is get near a body of water it is so cleansing to kind of maybe move through you know your soul your spirit whatever the situation is and kind of cleanse that way I know maybe you guys are a bunch of beach people if you guys are seeing this you know go to the beach spend some of that time near that ocean and kind of cleanse some of the worries of what's been going on and maybe you'll have a chance this April to do that um, or in the future so that's a really good card to kind of have and to get in the initial reading here we also have assertiveness. So again, going back to the fact that I'm really sensing with group number three that you guys are very emotionally and sense sensitive. Sensitive is the word that I'm getting. You guys are highly in tune. And sometimes it's not always easy. You guys are kind of like the quiet, gentle people of the groups. Um, you're not, you know, we had group one and group two that were very much a little bit more aggressive. But you guys need to learn assertiveness. The situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved we will stand right behind you as you speak your truth giving you strength and guiding your words so you guys here's kind of the thing because when I hear about the ocean and I hear about this assertiveness, I'm thinking you guys are like the peaceful group. So maybe something is going on either in terms of relationships, because I'm feeling that that's where this is going strongly. And we're going to see what these relationships are doing. This could be a spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, um, someone that you just met, something that is going on, friends. I'm sensing a lot of friendship th stuff happening here. So if you guys cannot assert yourself or you're having that issue with maybe speaking your peace, speaking your truth, because we have the ocean, we have that water, that conduit energy. If you can or have a hard time doing that, maybe calling upon your angels to kind of move forward with that. If you're having trouble asserting yourself in a relationship, letting that person know what you need, what you think, we can definitely get some clarifiers here to kind of see where is that going. Um, but you guys need to have that peace and kind of that serenity. When I think of the Ocean, I think of serenity and that ability to assert yourself and to kind of speak your truth because the thing is is that if you don't you guys are only going to be hurting yourselves because I feel from this group group number three especially in April you guys are very very psychically in tune sensitive you feel things you go through things so you need to start asserting yourself if you call it like you see it then that's all that people can expect from you if you're going to hide behind 
behind that piece and you don't agree with what's going on, then it's time for you to speak your truth at this moment, at this time. We're going to take a look at this. Oh, so child. Okay. You care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. So this is very interesting here. So we have this assertiveness. We have the ocean and we have child. Now, a couple different things could be going on here. You could also need to kind of soothe your inner child and kind of understand that you are sensitive and you do feel things. So kind of understanding that there is that childlike innocence and ability that you guys have that in April is going to come out and kind of, you know, fruition a lot there. Or this could be if you are expecting a child, trying to have a child, maybe you also too, maybe you guys, group number three are my teachers who have, have picked this and maybe you're worried about the case with with kids with whom you're teaching with what's going on you can also be maybe an activist I'm sensing for children for families for things like that interesting because in group number two we did get families and I did mention a lot about you know the whole thing with pregnancy birth the, this whole thing so maybe that is a common theme here I mean with spring it's no surprise fertility birth we get those type of things but with this whole child thing maybe that is something you need to assert yourself. Again, this is a generalized reading. So that could also mean that as well, embracing that inner child or embracing that innocence, that purity, um, you know, or spending, maybe you volunteer, maybe you really want to get back to the community. Something along those lines kind of helps that, you know, we have the ocean with the purity here. We have child with purity. If that card becomes purity, you guys, bam, spirits on it for me. But if it's not, that could also be a common theme here as well, that you guys are searching for purity. You're looking for purity. In April, you're looking to kind of assert your purity, that type of thing. Ooh, there goes my ocean card there. Um, so let's take a look and see if we can get some clarifiers on some. Okay, strength. So this is interesting. We have the strength of our angels to stand our ground for what we believe. Okay, perfect example here. We're getting this strength under the ocean, and there's nothing much stronger than the ocean. If you think about the currents, the tides, things that you're moving to, you guys think about it as imagery. You guys are moving through these tides, through things that are happening right now, and you are gaining strength. What's happening with the strength? strength is it's then moving to that assertiveness. Your angels are really tapping you on the shoulder, guys, and saying, listen, y'all ain't as nice as you think you are. You really, really do need to give that strength, assert yourself, believe in yourself. If there is something that needs to come to light, you guys with this childlike nature or with this innocence that you have, you might be able to be that group that actually says it to someone, something says it to another, a group, you also might be a leader among kids and children. You might be understanding how difficult it is. Now, keeping in mind also, too, you guys could also be parents and literally picking group number three because the truth is you've had to live through the pandemic. Things have changed a lot. And this spring, you're really thinking of your kids. You're thinking of maybe your child. How is this going to affect them? What is it going to look like? Uh, what what kind of strength do you need to play upon? So there could be a lot of things. Again, this reading is just general, you guys, but the main focus is you have to have that inner strength, whether you're asserting yourself, whether you're trying to speak for others, speak for a group, you know, speak for your own child. If you're trying to have, you know, a child in your life and you want to assert that again, it just takes that kind of strength. We have harmony, which is interesting because that was the previous message for group number one. Our words, deeds, and actions are in harmony with the angels in us. So, you guys, common theme here for spring is really harmony and peace. You're getting the ocean being dual also with the tides, with the roughness, with the way that the ocean operates, but then that calm, peaceful serenityness, which I think you guys have a little bit of that duality within you. You have that dual nature. So it's kind of telling you that you need to have that harmony within yourself. Whatever's going on, you have to create that peace or that harmony between you 
and the outside world of what is happening to you. Um, again, we can go back to the fact that you could be a parent. You could be someone who needs to assert themselves in a relationship and a career. But finding that strength and that harmony is definitely going to help you guys in April, but also I did want to get from Spirit to the fact that if you guys are teachers, I know, and you may have not come here and been teachers, but this is just a disclaimer because Spirit's letting me know this. If you guys have been trying to do something different in your, in your schools and anything that's been going on really, and you're trying to assert a different way of thinking, Spirit's letting me know that maybe you should go about it a different way. The way that you're portraying what you're trying to do is not working for everyone. So maybe if you move around it in a different way, present a different idea um, in regards to that and assert yourself in a different way, you will get different results. I don't know why Spirit was letting me know that, but they're just telling me that now. Laughter to you guys, harmony, laughter. We got laughter in the last video. Um, we got harmony. So laughter is when we laugh, our souls are one with our angels. So what's interesting about this, you guys, is we're getting a lot of harmony, a lot of laughter. So naturally, under that child card, you're gonna get that childlike innocence, that laughter, that humor. You guys have to understand that what you're standing up for and what you're believing and what you are asserting, whether you're a new parent trying to become a new parent, teacher, whatever, you, uh, you know, trying to find your inner child, you have to laugh. There is so much negativity going on in this world right now, group number three, that you guys have to laugh and let that laughter out. If you are surrounding yourself with children, you have to understand that they view things a little bit differently than we do as adults. So again, that laughter, that jovialness, I think you guys are just looking for that little piece of heart. Instead of thinking mentally or um, about a career or anything, you're really thinking of humankind, like human nature, what is happening in this world right now. And in April, you really, really do want to change things for kids. You want to change things in your community. You want to assert yourself a little bit more than you actually do, be it in relationships. You could also be with someone, spirits letting me know, group number three, you can be with somebody who maybe doesn't want children in their life, or maybe doesn't see the value in it, or, you know, be it for that so maybe you have to assert yourself a different way but finding that harmony and that laughter that joy you have to find that joy within yourself but also understand that moving forward is the best that you can do I'm also sensing that you guys have really been feeling a lot of pain sorrow you guys are kind of maybe drained if you're you know teaching kids at home or if you have kids at home that you're kind of looking for that release or that break just that calmingness so maybe if you guys need to listen to ocean sounds if before you go to bed or listen to water sounds before you go to bed um, to kind of clear out your mind and clear out your energy but let's take a look at some tarot let's see kind of group number three what else is going on besides these images or besides what you need to kind of know to move forward Okay, so this is interesting because we have this assertiveness card here and we have the two of swords, which shows me that this is indecision. So you guys are dealing with something mentally and emotionally and you are just so indecisive. You're not sure which way to go about it. Now, a couple different things I'm picking up from Spirit, you guys. This could either be... Um, if you are a parent, because I'm sensing that, what are you going to be doing with your children when stuff starts to open up, when stuff starts to move and things like that? That could be, uh, you know, a real issue here. The other thing is, is that that whole thing about if you want to have children or not could be a thing. If you need to assert yourself with relationships, where do you see yourself? You know, where are you not being fulfilled in some type of way with that indecision? So again, that's where this assertiveness comes in. The angels are letting you know you need to kind of make this decision, but assert yourself once you do make that decision. We have the world. Okay, now this is another thing I was picking up with this whole child card thing. You guys are really thinking about the world right now as it stands. You're thinking about the future of, of 
children of kids. If you guys are teachers, okay, listen, you're picking group number three. If you guys are teachers, just thank you so much. I know that things are extremely hard right now. I don't even have children myself, but it's just so hard to live into this environment because we're trying to teach a different thing. You're trying to help people adapt. So teachers, you guys are really thinking of the world. You're thinking of how the world has changed literally. And, you know, for parents, people who want to have children, you guys, this is weighing on your mind because the world is so uncertain right now that you're kind of not sure which way to go about it because of everything that's happening. So you're kind of like, I don't really know what to do. Maybe we'll get some clarification. But the angels are letting you know that they are present. They are there. You have that strength. You have that harmony and that laughter. What you need to do is call upon them, call upon your spirit guides, anything like that. If you guys are very worried about how this is going to affect you, your children, future children, um, you know, even spouses, it, it could be a lot on your spouse if you're trying to deal with things, a lot on yourself if you're a single parent, whatever the case is. That world card is clearly an issue. You guys are seeing too many changes and you are getting worried about that. We have the Archangel Gabriel here yet again. We have the angel situation. You guys, the angels are surrounding you. You guys really have to understand that group number three. You guys are intuitive, sensitive. The angels are surrounding you. We have the judgment card. So basically, here's the thing. You guys are passing not only judgment on the world in the situation, but you guys are going to be those people that are going to be just. The decision that you make, whatever that decision is, to support the future, become an activist, become for children the future, whatever the situation is, you guys are going to make that decision. You're going to assert yourself. Now, here's what I just noticed. She's got the flute. He has the horn. That whole... um how is spirit trying to relay this to me? The whole musical situation, that sound of coming out, that sound of projection to lead others. You guys have that ability. Like I look at it as the Pied Piper. If you guys are not familiar with that, okay, it's a Pied Piper. He he plays the little flute and all the little, little mice or whatever follow him. Okay, it's the same thing. If you guys are teachers in group number three, comment down below. Tell me I'm on to something right now. Tell me Spirit speaking to me. Okay, this whole thing about this whole flute leading people, that assertiveness, that teacher, that teacher thing, you guys are leading people, this whole thing with judgment. That that is basically stating that you guys have the ability to, to play the flute, to really teach, expand yourself. If you guys are parents and trying to lead your household also, that is very, very difficult during this time for many people. You've had to change things, but you're able to lead the future in a different way. So you guys, seriously, if you're in this situation and you feel like all hope is lost, you're struggling, you're scared, whatever the case is, you know, comment down below. Let me know. I mean, I'm around. But the thing is, is that you guys have to understand this is all happening for a reason. The angels are really in your guys' corner and you have that ability to kind of move forward with things and to kind of lead other people, especially the future, into a new way here. We have the sun. You guys see, you guys, I can just sense from this group that group number three, even though you guys are dealing with a lot of darkness, you're dealing with a lot of negative. Okay, I'm telling you, you guys are teachers. I know if you're picking group number three and you're a teacher, comment down below. Anyway, moving on with the sun, you guys are having that ability to shed some light on what is happening. You guys are good organizers. You have a lot of strength. This indecision and this fear of the negativity, like I'm trying to tell every group for April, get rid of the negativity. Negativity Negativity is always going to be there. That dark energy is always going to be there because it's supposed to be there. It's supposed to feed off of whatever is going on. And it's supposed to, you know, fear is supposed to just take over things like that. And it's that dark energy is always going to stick around. But the thing is with you guys, group number three, you are that light energy. You are feeling that light energy. You are moving forward with the sun. You guys have the good luck. Things are going to turn around for you. The ideas and the social activism that you guys have group number three is going to change our world it's going to change what we think what we feel so that sun it's a good omen we have the moon okay so you're dealing with dualities here also 
wanted to say with the indecision, you could also be dealing with dualities within yourself. You know, you could be that light, that spirit, that playfulness, that energy, that laughter. But then we have that dark night of the soul, that dark energy, you know. And the thing about the moon is, is we have the, the masculine and the feminine. But the thing about the moon is, is that sometimes things are not always as clear as we need them to be. We have that Scorpio energy and we also have that dark side of the moon where it's like, you think you know what you're seeing completely, but you're not. So if you guys are having this indecision and you're trying to assert yourself, get the whole picture first before you're going and use that goodness. Because I know you guys, if you're coming from group number three, you have that goodness. Use that goodness to kind of move you forward, but just make sure you're getting the whole picture of whatever's happening in your life. If you're trying to make a decision, you're a social activist, you're a teacher you're trying to change a career trying to do I feel like this has to do with relationships too you guys if you are seeing some shady people doing some shady dealings for our future for the world you need to call it out that's what this assertiveness is about be like listen we're not going to take this this is shady we don't need it we don't need the negative energy so you guys are kind of that light shedding upon that darkness but make sure that you get the whole picture you guys got a lot of major arcana here which is great but make sure that again with this you get the whole picture and we have temperance again you guys the angels listen i don't care if you believe or not I do not care. The angel, the Archangel Gabriel is coming through strong here, you guys, strong. If you need to call upon him, I would strongly suggest doing that. You know, spirits, whatever the situation is, you guys come on, like Gabriel speaking to you. Because clearly with the temperance we have here, that balancing act. So you go from being cross, not knowing what to do, to having this balance. The angels are in your corner, you guys. You have to at least utilize what is going on here because clearly you're at a point where you can physically emotionally mentally change our future child uh, children anything like that in card readings has to do with future has to do with birth and fertility you guys are the future you guys can make it group number three april is going to be a very big month for you guys and i'm telling you if you see angels it's a synchronicity you guys because the angels are trying to speak to you like hardcore like when you get when you get the archangel game Gabriel in, in the same reading in this with the tarot, the very strong indication that the spirits, especially the archangels, are speaking to you. So if you need to, you know, pray upon it, meditate on it. I'm telling you, it's going to come through for you. You may not feel that that's the case at this point, but they're in your corner. They're trying to speak to you. They're trying to communicate with you. We're going to see what signs, what planets here, but definitely, you guys, it's it's a, it's a confirmation. This group is extremely gifted, so meditate, speak on it. If you need to move forward, that's going to happen in April with the new birth of an idea. The angels are here to kind of guide you for that. So we have Neptune, which is interesting because <laughs> um, I'm just laughing, you guys, because we, we got the seahorses, we got the ocean. You guys, listen, I don't know if you guys are near an ocean or anything, but when we get this Neptune, you guys got to go near either the ocean, a body of water, something. I don't know what is going on here with this correlation, but clearly spirit is making that correlation. So a couple of different things about Neptune. So with Neptune, we have that outer planet that kind of dictates um, movement, motion. It dictates a lot of societal economical, um, not karma, but the way that things move, the way that things operate, you know, no surprise with Neptune ruling the sea. Um, you know, uh, we have uh, Poseidon depicted here in this card, the, the god of the sea. So clearly the ocean or the sea, we have to understand that with that Neptune energy, much like the moon, the ocean is only skin, not skin deep. It's only, uh, 
as deep as we can see it, if that makes any sense, you guys. So group number three, you yourselves may only portray yourself in one light, but there is a lot of deeper energy going on here. Some things are not foreseen. We had this connection with the ocean. So you're seeing the top view of the ocean, but we all know that there are depths and depths and depths to the ocean. If this is a water sign card, I'm telling you right now, you guys, if you came here and you are a water sign, this reading is for you. But we have that depth depths of that ocean, that Neptune energy, that motion and that movement for, for uh, societal change, for economic change, for future change. I mean, you guys are like light years ahead probably of the rest of us because you're seeing these synchronicities in a different light. It's telling you to meditate near the ocean, use that kind of Neptune energy. So if you guys get nothing from this reading, understand that the ocean is a synchronicity. Something is happening there where you guys were be it if you're meeting an angel there, if you're seeing something there, the ocean is pretty apparent or a body of water. <laughs> oh God, you guys, we got the moon. We got the moon uh, a second time here. So no surprise, no surprise here. We have both times the moon, which clearly shows me one of two things. Either you guys are that feminine energy. You are that divine feminine energy that's working through you. The moon is extremely, extremely important in this reading, as is the ocean. So you guys have two elemental things happening here with the ocean and with the moon. So if you need to, definitely you can meditate near the ocean body, water, something of that nature. Now here's with, with the situation with the moon. Start to look at the new moon and the full moon situations to kind of manifest, move forward, speak to spirit in those time periods. Also understand with the moon that sometimes things are not clearly represented. So you guys need to seek the whole truth and see it clearly before you can make a decision. So that moon energy and that ocean energy are clearly um, clearly apparent here, group number three. So if you learn nothing else from this reading, understand that that ocean and that moon, that body of water and the moon are clearly those synchronicities. So if you're seeing a lot of oceanic views, pictures, anything like that, it's just basically spirit talking to you. If you need to take a trip there, it's spirit talking to you. Again, that motion, what do we see deeply or what do we see more in depth? And then we have the moon, which kind of shows that as well. So we're going to look and see what the message was for you guys. But again, if you walk away from nothing in this reading, again, three things of your teachers comment. If you have the ocean, um, seeing that for synchronicities and the moon. So we have, sorry, I can't read. Oh, honesty. We can't, we can't help but be honest when an angel is on our shoulder. You guys, here's the thing about this. We know you got an angel on your shoulder. We know that you need to be honest with yourself. If you feel a deep calling, group number three, and I'm going to say this because, listen, I don't know everything either. If I did, I don't know. I probably would have a ton of money by now, you know, knowing the winning lottery numbers anyway, whatever the situation is. But if you guys are honest with yourselves and you know that there is something deeper going on in your life, what you can change for the future, whatever it is, it's time for you to get with your angels, get with some positivity, and know that you are meant to change things. This is a very powerful group, and with that honesty, you will move forward, and I hope that April brings you some clarity, brings you something to kind of move forward, because I'm telling you, when you got that moon energy and that water energy, it's very very, very powerful. So to kind of move forward with that, hopefully um, that honesty will help bring you to these points. You guys, I hope that this reading really, really did help. Um, as always, please like or comment um, down below to the videos. Let me know. You can also subscribe to the channel. That really, really does help me to know if you guys really want me to continue with pick a cards. Um, I do a lot of 101 videos. So if you haven't seen my Root Chakra 101, um, definitely look into that. And again, always keep it light, keep it bright, keep it starry for all my star pupils who came here. And if not, and you're new to the channel, Thank you so much for coming and for spending this time with me. And I really, really hope that this reading did help and I will talk to you soon.